what's going on youtube i am back with another video and if you can't tell by the thumbnail we got a new mod going in today man um but before anything make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff and definitely turn on that notification bell so you can see when i drop videos like this one um as you can see all right we are at scatter's house again yes i have been there a lot lately you guys um just trying to get some stuff ready for the atlanta trip number one and has some maintenance and some issues. If you haven't seen what happened to Toro, yes, she was broke. Uh, so go watch my previous video so you can see what was actually going on. Um, but yes, today we're gonna play a little game of what's in the box. Let me know what you think it is in the comments and uh, we're gonna go get it put on. All right, you guys, that's what's in the box. You guys, so I am replacing my old one. And if you know my car, you actually know that I actually have one on there already, but um, long story short, didn't pay attention. Um, and I actually put something on it and it definitely black. I know it has the cover on it right now. Ashy, not black anymore, right? So black, not black anymore. Um, and it looks super bad, especially with my wrap being as dark as it, as dark as it is. Um, so yeah, we're gonna replace that. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace this. It's super easy. You can do it in your driveway. It takes like five, 10 minutes. So let's get to it. Oh, uh, you gotta do is reach up under there. And there's four clips. One, two, three, and four behind it. And then it's off that easy so you guys can see those four clips and it's gonna sit there with a little gasket here that you'll kind of have to shimmy out we're gonna go ahead and clean that out right quick uh, but you can see the difference in the two now you guys like that looks terrible compared to that so stable pin is there. Make sure you access the stable pin first before you do all the ones that have the plunger in it. Makes it a lot easier for the assembly to press into place. And then double check and make sure your gas filler neck is surrounded. Give a little pressure from the back. It should pop through the rubber surround. And then shake Turn test that shit. It's done. Way better now, you guys. Way better, you guys. Again, I'm gonna bring over Don't the old. Body shop charge you six hundred dollars mm -hmm. to change that damn twenty dollar piece. Oh, watch the flap underneath the fender wheel. Make sure I push that back. And then, of course. All right, you guys. So that is all it takes to put in a new gas cap on a 2015 and above Dodge Challenger. Um, whether it be a SXT RT scat pack um, or, you know, Hellcat, etc. That's all it takes is literally four clips. Press it out, push it back in, make sure you hook the gas cap back up and done. All right. Uh, so just wanted to, you know, let you guys see that because not too much out there of, you know, actually doing it. Uh, I'm a little dirty. You can see my hands. I've seen my car is dirty. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Like, comment, definitely subscribe because we're going to be dropping more videos all the time. But other than that, see you guys later.